Philippines, Alyssa Ivinson. She has been on the scene all morning and has the very latest. Fort Wayne firefighters are still on the scene of a large fire here on Old Trail Road. The fire has gone down quite a bit. As you can see behind me, there still are some flames and uh, several firefighters still putting water on the fire. We uh, first brought you this story. A, a, a while ago, we, we broke in. This happened around 10 o'clock today. Firefighters, as you can see, two hours later, still on the scene. But let's take a look at some video from earlier this morning. Uh, there were explosions throughout the morning because this is a fireworks store. Because it is a fireworks store and the firefighters arrived, they could not go in to fight the fire from the inside, as they do with many fires. Instead, they had to attack the fire from the outside of the building. They also concentrated on making sure the fire didn't spread to the surrounding businesses that are built buildings on either side of the fireworks store. This is Pyromaniac Fireworks. This store has been here for seven years. I spoke with um, the aunt of the owner, and the family right now is just devastated beyond belief. They can't believe that uh, their business has just gone up this way. And as, as few as uh, just a few moments ago, we were still hearing some fireworks going off in the store, obviously a lot of fireworks inside. I spoke to a woman who lives right next to this fireworks store, and she describes what happened and what she saw when the fire started. We were just sitting at the computer and we heard loud popping noises and we didn't know what it was so we ran back there and you could just see fireworks going off. What did it look like? Um, it just was like, you know, you could see the colors of the fireworks flying everywhere and then there was, you started seeing smoke. It was just unbelievable. The firefighters, as you can see, still her, are here on the scene with this live look. Uh, we just spoke with the fire chief, Pete Kelly, a few moments ago. They are on the tail end of this fire. Some uh, fire trucks have been removed from the scene, backed up a little bit. So they're nearing the end of this firefight, but they still will have a long way to go. As far as the investigation that uh, into what caused it, that is still ongoing as well. Uh, oh, As you can hear, lots of fireworks going off right now just behind me. You could even see some of them shooting up into the air uh, like little sparklers. We've seen several different colors. That is the loudest one we've heard since we've been out here. So uh, this fire is certainly uh, not over. Firefighters still attacking this from the outside because, as you just heard, there still are active explosions and fireworks going off inside the building. Well, uh, Fire Chief Kelly actually just arrived here. So what stage are we in this fire right now? Well, um, I'd like to say we're wrapping it up, but as you just heard, uh, there are some uh, still uh, some material in the in the rear of the building, and that's where the majority of the fireworks are stored, as I understand. So uh, that's kind of the uh, the trouble spot right now, and we're just going to have to remain here throughout the afternoon and keep flowing some water on it, and uh, we'll be very careful before we go inside, obviously. Make sure no explosions for quite a while. Correct, correct. And so the investigation, uh, you know, it's already started, of course, but to get inside and really do the full investigation is going to take some time. Okay. Any idea how many fireworks were in there, how full this was? No, I don't. I don't know for sure. I, I know uh, this, this may have had more than your average store. Uh, they do store some larger ones in the rear, as I understand it, because it had been established business for some time ago, so they were able to do that somehow. So I think that probably added to it, and it's probably adding to the length of uh, how long it's going to take to take, put out. Okay, Chief, thank okay. you very much for the sure. update. And, of All course, right. we'll keep you updated as we learn new information. We're live in Wayndale along Old, Old Trail Road, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15. It sounded more like a firing range than a building fire. Pyromaniac fireworks disappearing in a cloud of smoke. Never seen a fire in Wayndale like this. Huge flames leapt from the store. We knew we needed a lot of water for this one. And fireworks shot into the sky. You could see the colors of the fireworks flying everywhere, and then there was you started seeing smoke. It was just unbelievable. You work next to a fireworks store, it's always in the back of your mind that something's going to happen, but you don't really expect it to happen. Because of all of the fireworks going off inside the building, firefighters had to attack the flames from the outside and from the air. We really didn't have much other choice than to take what we call a more defensive approach. Firefighters worked hard to keep the fire from spreading to the businesses next door. It's exciting and awful at the same time, you know, when you see something like that happen. Diana Johnson works across the street. I was thankful that it wasn't my place, but you know, I'm sorry to see anybody lose, you know, their property or anything. The owner watching in disbelief as his store sets off a fireworks display 
of its own. He is a really nice guy. Uh, I really feel for him. Uh, he's just, he's always amiable. I bought fireworks in there. He says your store's burning down and, and just my heart dropped out. Flames and fireworks shot out of pyromaniac fireworks yesterday, leaving behind a pile of charred rubble today. When a fire store goes, it, it's going to go all the time because, again, it, the firefighters don't have anything to do but to be uh, uh, that defensive. Owner Gary Graham watched in disbelief as his years of hard work and life's passion went up in flames. Ever since he was about five years old, Gary's loved fireworks. What's not to love? <laughs> Color, noise. Ten years ago, he turned his love into a job, but he's not letting a fire put him out of business. You know, things happen for a reason. I keep telling myself that. And, uh, you know, we've been successful out here because of our attitude and, uh, and, our, and just the way we are generally doing business. So as long as we keep that, uh, that business model the same, we should be successful wherever we go. Fire investigators did rule out arson, but for the exact cause, that's still undetermined because, as you can see from the pile of rubble left behind, there's not much left to look at. There wasn't much left to even investigate as far as material and everything. They did the best they could. I'd like to know at least what it is. It helped me sleep a little bit better at nighttime. To make the fire even worse, the store just got a big shipment in for New Year's sales. This would have happened maybe a couple weeks ago. I could have saved a little bit of money and it wouldn't have been as bad. Gary doesn't know how much he'll get from insurance yet, but it won't pay for the $50,000 of lost inventory. Still, Pyromaniac Fireworks hopes to reopen by Memorial Day. It won't be the same. It won't be the old Trail Road store that we love so much, but uh, we'll about to make a, a new home somewhere else. In Fort Wayne, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.